Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and we're going to continue that series of videos on raw data review in Trimble Business Center. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I go in and check the control that's uh, in the raw data file. So if you remember in the in the first few videos, I showed you how to set up a project, then we imported our data, then we fixed the flags some of the air flags that we had. So in this video, we want to go in and just look through the control. That's kind of the next step. So in this particular project, we set our initial control using uh, RTNG EPS. And so this is the virtual base that gets created when you do that. So I'm going to right click on that and pull up the properties. And I'm going to go ahead and hover over this button here. It tells you you can add a coordinate for this point. So I'm going to do that. And it it uh, copies in the existing coordinates for this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this control quality. Okay, because whatever I do in this project, I don't I don't want to change, as a general rule, I don't want to change the coordinates for this point. So we're going to make that a control quality point. It's kind of the seed point for the rest of our control. Okay, then I'm going to come over and click on this arrow. This shows you a, a list of connected data. And I'm going to grab this. So there's two coordinates here. There's the one that we just entered, office entered grid. And then there's this coordinate that came out of the data collector. Now this isn't control quality, so I'm going to grab that from the drop down list. I'm going to right click in a blank space on the map view and I'm just going to say delete. Okay, so now this point only has the office entered control coordinate, which is what I want. And then just as a check, we're going to go ahead and recompute that. All right, now we're going to come down here and we're going to look at some more of our data. Okay, and I can see I forgot to save my changes earlier. These flags are coming up because of the um, error tolerances, error tolerances that are set on mean angles. So let me go ahead and fix that. I'm going to pause the video, fix that, and then we'll come back in and look at this other control. All right, guys, so I fixed those flags. Sorry about that. So we don't have any flags in our data. And as a general rule, I try and... I try and resolve any flags before I go into this next step with the control. So now what I want to do is I just want to go in and look at each of the control points in this file and make sure that they were set properly, that I feel pretty comfortable about the the method that was used to set those points, and then we're going to go ahead and, and set them to be control quality. So I'm going to start with these points here that were set with these RTN baselines, and these are the aerial targets that we set for the project. So it looks like I've got one here, 10,012 was set with this RTN baseline. I don't particularly love that method. I don't particularly love um, using RTN to set uh, control for a project, but this particular project, that's what we did. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a coordinate here, control quality, because this is what we're holding for the project. I can see they set a rebar and cap, so I got a good control point there. Then we'll drop that arrow down and let's see it looks like we just got that one grid coordinate so that's good okay and then you can see over here uh, looks like I got a couple check shots to this point so let's just look at those it's the other thing I do in this step is I just kind of uh, I want to see if I'm getting good checks on my control so uh, I can see yep sure enough that's a check they were set at 10,005 and they checked 10,012 so I'm gonna come over here and on the uh, home tab measure distance and inverse I just want to see how far am I from my check shots all right so I've got about 200 there so those are good check shots okay now depending on where you work or the crew that's doing the field work these check shots will be stored differently um, so you can you can do it th this way, you see here, which is where the crews just sh shoot it as a normal topo shot with a separate number and then uh, put the check shot number in their comment. Or you can do it as an as stake point. Um, what I like to do is uh, when I shoot these in the field is I like to shoot them and then store them as a check. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change these now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and... and rename these to the number actually here's how you do it you don't want to grab the point grab this vector and then uh, 
we're going to change this to enable this check and we're going to renumber this to the actual control point and it's going to say hey do you want to merge yes because I'm just using that as a check and the reason I do that is is when I run my recompute report I want to be able to see these as a as a check shot in my report and so to do that they need to have the same point number so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with both of those run and recompute and so now those are actually stored as check shots with the same number on that point which is typically what I want okay it looks like we got another point over here for some reason there was a, a duplicate point in here with a slightly different number you can see there's no vectors to or from that so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and then for whatever reason it looks like we got a, a shot again on the same point with a slightly different number I'm gonna go ahead and inverse between these just see how far apart they are alright so it looks like they're 500 apart so those are the same point so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna enable this as a check and then I'm gonna rename this number to 10,012 and merge it okay so now I've got all those shots to the same point and I've got those duplicate vectors enabled as checks, so we'll see those residuals, the differences in those positions for that point in our recompute report. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. We'll look at this next one. All right, so it looks to me like we got kind of a similar thing going on here. This looks like a junk point. There's no vectors to or from it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then it looks like these two points are also the same. So I'm going to go ahead and inverse between those. And uh, we can see about 2 hundredths apart, 17 hundredths on the vertical, which doesn't surprise me for RTN. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hold 13 as the number. So I'm going to add a coordinate here, make it control quality. Okay, then I'm going to grab this vector. I'm going to enable it as a check. Just doing the same thing we did before. Okay, and I'm going to renumber this and merge it. Okay, so now that's enabled as a check there. When I recompute, that other point goes away. Okay, we're just cleaning this up, cleaning this raw data up. All right, so we're going to zoom out. And it looks like we got a couple more of these to, to clean up. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and I, and I won't make you sit through all these. So we're going to delete this one. I'm going to add a control coordinate to this point here, 10,014. Okay, now before I merge these, I'm just going to check that inverse, make sure I'm comfortable with whatever the residuals are here. Looks like I got 400s and 1100s. So for what we're doing on this project, that's good enough. So I'm going to grab this vector and we'll enable as a check. Rename this point. Okay. Run our recompute. That other shot should disappear. It does. All right. So I'm going to pause the video, clean up. I think I got one more RTK control point, RTN control point to clean up. And then we'll go in and we'll look at some of that conventional control. All right. I decided I'm, I was actually, I'm going to show you this fourth RTK point, the cleanup on that, because uh, this is kind of the start of our total station survey. So when you're, when you're doing something like this where you use an RTN to uh, set your initial control, you want to make sure that your total station data starts from an RTN point, right, and checks into an RTN point. In other words, you want to make sure your first total station setup is on a couple of your RTN points. And so you can see that here. Uh, we got a bunch of total station vectors here coming out of 10,005, control point 10,005, which was set with this blue RTN vector. Okay, and it looks like I've got a check shot on it from uh, this other this other setup point here this 26231 is a check shot okay so what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this point it is a control point so I'm gonna add a coordinate make it control quality okay I'm gonna make sure I don't have a value in here from the data collector I don't don't have a coordinate value from the data collector that we need to delete okay then I'm gonna grab this point I know this is a check shot Okay, I'll go back to my home tab. Let's just go ahead and check, see how far apart these two are. So uh, they're basically flat. Got a couple hundreds in the vertical. So I feel comfortable uh, merging those. So I'll right click on that point again, pull up the properties. And actually what I want to do, sorry, we want to select that vector. 
So this vector we want to select and we're going to enable it as a check and then we're going to renumber this and we're going to merge it. We'll do our recompute. Okay, so now that's stored as a check shot. So this is clean. I only got one point here. It's set as control quality. Okay, it looks like I got another check shot right over here that's a little farther apart. Let's just check that inverse. All right, yep, just about a hundredth away. So, so it's a good check. So we want to do the same thing there if we can. Try and grab that vector. And uh, we're going to enable that as a check. And we'll renumber this point and merge it. Okay. All right. Now, that's our first point there, 10,005. So what we want to do is we want to say, all right, what control do we set from 10,005? Okay. Looks like we got a check shot or backside up to 10,012. So that's good. But I know we set some other control from here. Okay, and in this particular job, we are doing some scanning, so I know we set some scan control. Okay, and you remember the, the vectors with those meaned angles are kind of the lighter yellow green. And so I can see, looks to me like I've got a couple there. I've got one here. So it looks like I set 10,008 from 10,005, and I've got another here, set 10,007 from 10,005. And I can just tell that from the color of those vectors. Okay, another way to, to do that is if you just drop down your file, um, you can come down here from 10,005 and you can see what the guys did. Okay, so they backsided 12. Uh, looks like we got a shot to six there. Okay, now I'm um, hopefully that's a check shot because I don't see mean angles there. Um, I do not see mean angles. So I selected that vec vector to 10,006 and I'm just going to, let me undo that and show you again. So we'll select that vector to 10,006 over here in the Project Explorer. And then this button right here selects the point at the end of the vector. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I can see I got a control point here. Now, I'm not in love with this because this isn't a check shot like I hope. So that means that we actually set this 10,006 from a single side shot. Okay. So looks like my field crew didn't follow directions there. They should have had a direct and reverse. Okay. So I just want to make a note of that. Um, this shot here to 10,006, I want to double check that because we only had a a single side shot when we set it. So I just want to make sure we got some checks on that and, that and that they're good checks. So I feel comfortable about that point. Okay. So just, we're just going to make a note of that. Okay. But you can see in this view here, this will tell you what other shots uh, were made from this point. Okay. And so if you want, if you have your control point numbers in a certain series, like we do here at guided surveying, it's pretty easy to come in here. I can see I set six, seven, eight, and nine were the control points that I set from this from this point. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll look at the first one of these. So I've got a mean angle set here down to this control point, and I can come in here and take a look at my spreads if I want. So good tight spreads on that. Uh, good good uh, flat residual and the slope distances on the direct and reverse. So then I can zoom in here a little bit, and I can see here's my point, 10,008, right? Looks like I got a check shot right over here. We'll go ahead and inverse that. I like seeing all these check shots. Makes me feel good that the crew is following good procedures. So I got a flat, flat uh, check on that from a different control point. So I feel really good about this point here. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of repeat those same steps that we did when we were cleaning up the RTN control points. So I'm gonna select this vector to the check shot. I'm gonna enable it as a check and I'm gonna renumber it and merge that point. Okay, and then we'll run our recompute. Okay, and you can see here, it looks like I've got another, I've got a number of vectors here, uh, number of check shots from, these are either check shots or back sites from 1022. Okay, and it looks like they all fall on the same point, so that's great. So the last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a control coordinate. Because I feel good now about the location of this control point. Okay, and then we wanna make sure we delete any values from the data collector, any coordinate values for the data collector from this point. There are none, all we have is our office center point there. Okay. So I feel good about 10,008. So I'm going to continue to do that. Just kind of work through here and, and clean up those, uh, those control points. Um, let's just check this one. We might have one more check shot here. Nope. That's an EP. So that's not a check shot. Okay. So I've cleaned up all the check shots here. So I'm just going to go through one by one to each of these control points and, uh, 
merge the check shots. First, I inverse the check shots, make sure I got a good check. If I got a good check, I'll merge those those check shots, renumber them, and merge them. And then uh, just make sure that I feel good about the position of that con control point, how it was set by the field crew. 